let's go to virtual machines. Okay, so let's go add here and let's go virtual machine and let's see what we get. So uh, it said in those notes that we needed a, a Debian and uh, Debian 10, I think is one of the uh, later versions. And let's see what is the latest version. And uh, I don't want that. Yeah, so 10.07. And that's all we're going to need. Uh, I am going to use my one of my enterprise accounts here. I am going to create a new resource group. In resources group, they're just a logical container. It's going to contain all of our assets. RG Honeypot. And this is going to store all of our files. For the virtual machine name, we're going to name it twitch honeypot okay so we got the machine name so i'm going to go west in us and we're going to go to no infrastructure redundancy we're still going to use the uh, debian 10 based okay so for the size here so in the docs here i think they had recommended a bit larger of a size let's go to the minimum requirements make sure it has this eight gigabytes of ram Less is RAM, okay? So I don't really care that much about a swapping. 128, but limits the capabilities. Okay, so we really don't need, uh, I'm not gonna be gathering data for like the next two or three years on this. So let's go see all sizes. You can see right now it's saying, hey, this is gonna run you about nine bucks a month. I'm going to go, not the full eight, two V CPUs, four gigabytes of memory, and this is gonna run about 36 bucks. And then there's a couple of different options. For today, I'm probably just gonna set up a username and a password. And I've got a strong password here. Strong password. This will allow all IP addresses. It's fun. We, we may change this. Let's go to disk here. So premium uh, encryption. I don't need that. Uh, let's create and let's attach a new disk. Uh, for the size of the disk, uh, they recommend it eight. We're not going to use that. And let's change the size of this. Uh, they recommended 128. Let's see. We might be able to get through for now with the 64 gigabyte. And we don't need a performance tier. So we're just using the default one there. Yeah, so we did about half. So it recommended eight gigs of RAM. We're going with four. It recommended 128. And we're going with 64 okay here and let's go ahead and let's go to the next of these um for networking we will lead the defaults here so we're going to have a, a vnet we may or may not use any of this uh yeah we'll leave all of this just as it is for the moment management uh for right now it's just going to be me enable storage account that's fine actually that's for boot diagnostics uh, i think this part of it was free um, we're not going to ever shut down the VM. We're going to keep it running. Uh, I don't really want to back up at the moment. And then for advanced, uh, we're not going to install any extensions. Nothing else in here. We don't need to tag it because uh, there's no billing or anything like that that's going to be enabled. And let's quickly review the rest of these things. So let's look at our machine. We've got Visual Studio, which is one of my accounts, creating a new resource group. Uh, we're giving it this name. Putting it close to where I live, uh, Debian uh, 10 Buster, which is the right one. We're running with the four gigabytes of memory. Uh, we're just using password at the moment. We may set up a key uh, pair later. Uh, premium, yes. Networking, that looks uh, that looks good. Uh, we're using the free stuff for security. We actually will probably come back into this right here and turn this completely off. And then down here, we're not gonna shut it down or anything like that. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna smash that. Okay, so let's go to this resource right here. And here we are, this is the Twitch Honeypot. And what we're going to do is first off, we're gonna actually just log into this machine. Let's go to connect. And we're going to use SSH. Um, since I didn't create a key, I'm going to go SSH and I'm going to go to uh, admin fam. Don't even ask me where I came up with that at. All right. And so we're logged in with a password. Again, it's not the best way, but um, we'll just use this for right now. We are into our honeypot that we just created. Okay. So what do you think we should do now? LSB underscore release dash A. 
So we're in Debian. Uh, we're in version 10. This time we're going to go, well, apt git update. Uh, and the other thing is it git version. Okay, so it looks like git isn't even on here. So that's okay. So we're just going to install it. So sudo apt git. And what would be the next word if you want to install something? sudo apt git install. You know, you can just type in the word git there. Let's take this and let me paste the clipboard here. A CD, and I'm just going to type in two characters, and and we're going to be in there. Okay, so um, just by looking at these instructions, all works. So let's go into the ISO image, CD ISO. We'll do another LS here, and there's a couple of folders here, and I'm sure in the directions here. They tell you a bit more about it. Um, what we're going to be using, we're just going to be using the installer. So we're going to go CD installer, clear here. We'll do an LSL. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to install this thing. So let's go uh, sudo install dot sh, the type, which type we're going to install it as. And this is just a command that is built into this. Uh, I just hit the enter button and if everything goes well, which I'm not sure if it will, we'll review your running services, SSH 22, other services, 21, 23, 25, and 80 uh, might collide with honeypots and prevent them from starting successfully. And they're going to conflict simply because we have an Azure firewall setting on top of this virtual machine. So let's go in here and let's hit the Y button. I think we're just going to go with this. Does everybody agree? We're going with standard MB crump fam. Uh, yeah, that's fine. MB crump fam. My password. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Uh, we created a virtual machine. Uh, we're using Azure. We uh, are using Debian. Installed that. Installed Git started the install process of this honeypot software which is all open source it is uh, finished up and so what we're doing right now is is that it is rebooting uh it looks like it's rebooted we're going to go and try to connect back in again let's go to our our network security group virtual machines and we're going to go to our twitch honeypot that we've got here we're going to go down to networking networking which is right up here in settings um, so we know that it moved it to 64.295. We need to connect to that port from now on. Um, and we only have port 22 right now that's actually exposed to the internet. So what that means is, is that we need to come in here and create a rule. Let's add a new inbound rule here. Source is going to be any. Uh, port ranges. This can be coming from anyone, at least right now. And destination is going to be this port. And then we're going to add a description here. Let's go add. Okay, so we're creating the rule. Give this a second to finish compiling in. All right, so here's the port. So I think we're in pretty good shape. So let's come back over here. We're going to go enter. We are part of 2000, which is what I was looking at. This is the teapot uh, set up there. We're also uh, sudo here which is good and uh yeah this is all the typical stuff like dial out cd roms floppies uh etc but let's open up a new tab uh, let's see yeah so you can see right here it's just me logged in but what i do have is i have access to map. It says here host seems down if it's really up but blocking your ping probes try dash pn okay so the reason it is doing that, I have a few rules that is set up that we probably want to go ahead and open up completely because we want everybody to be able to come in and go crazy with this thing. So I'm going to go back to my inbound rule here. We're going to make a drastic change here. We're opening every single port. We're going to turn this on and we may need to go over into our security. <laughs> Look at all of this. Actually, that may have, actually, I may not even need to do all this. Let's just run it. Okay, so that's still not it. So let's see here. So let's go back. Oh, look at this. It says blocking our ping IP probes. Okay, so let's go P and let's go N.
I'm just going to go ahead and put this rule back in here. This rule is trying to buy, open up those ports and we want the ports open. So what we're doing here is a really bad practice, obviously, if you're doing a real application, but we're purposely going to be trying to attract people to join into this command and to run different commands. Let's run it. Oh, <laughs> okay. So this scan is going, I don't necessarily think we really need this scan anymore. Right here really proved everything I was wanting um, out of this. So uh, the one thing we do get for free here is scroll down a little bit is a cockpit. So cockpit gives, is going to give us that dashboard. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go to the overview. And I am going to grab this public IP address and we're going to go right here and we want to log in. We want to start seeing that dashboard and it was a uh, 297. So go to nine seven here. I'm starting to think here that maybe that whole system may actually need a reboot uh, at this point. So I'm actually going to go ahead and make the call and we're going to reboot this machine. We are back up and we are back running. Oh, the IP address. Okay, wrong IP address. Stop. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, please don't hammer it just yet. I'm not sure. Maybe I really did need the recommended specs that they said in the documentation. This one. Accept the risk. Um, and all of this is just complaining simply because we don't have a cert installed. Uh, so it wants us to log back in again with a username and a password. And we're going to use this password. And I want to reuse this. Okay. I have no clue what all this is. So let's explore it together. Um, we got two CPU cores running right now. Okay. That's my local time here. Uh, memory. Everything's kind of starting back up again. Network traffic. Uh, yep. This is my machine. Uh, enable stored metrics. Logs. There's probably a bunch of logs in here somewhere. Storage. What do we get with storage? Uh, sweet. So let's go container. So it runs some Docker containers here. Bin, sh. We'll explore these in, in, in another episode. Accounts. Uh, we've got two here. The admin account and then this one their software updates okay that looks good oh look at this this is sweet aha uh -huh. look at this this is awesome oh, i'm sorry i hit dir ls here there we go uh i cannot stand that background so let's go back to uh let's go back to one where we can actually read stuff okay great but it is nice that you get this terminal kind of built in for free uh memory okay so we probably should have used the recommended specs there's a ton of things in here that we'll probably go and explore at another later time. Uh, okay, so here's an H top. And so go ahead and uh, feel free to hammer it now and let's see what happens. Oh, actually, I think you, <laughs> I think you are already are stopping it. Um, I do greatly appreciate uh, you all for hanging out here with me.